Our next recipient, Chief Warrant Officer Robert Dillon. Bob was born in Ithaca, New York on March 29, 1944. He was the fourth child of Ed and Eleanor Dillon. The Dillon family grew to five boys and three girls. Bob enlisted into the United States Army on April 11, 1962 and served as an Army medic in Germany. After his first three years, he went to Fort Walters, Texas and trained to become an Army helicopter pilot. After his completion of this course, Bob graduated as a warrant officer and a United States Army aviator on November 11, 1966 at Fort Rucker, Alabama. Three weeks after graduation, Warrant Officer Dillon went to Vietnam and joined the 1st of the 4th Cavalry of the 1st Infantry Division and for the next 12 months flew helicopters over the jungles of Vietnam. Upon completion of his tour, Bob returned to the States and assumed duties at Fort Walters, Texas, where he married the love of his life, Diane Knight. And on December 12, 1968, they had a son, Robert Keith. In January of 1969, Bob received orders for a second tour of duty in Vietnam. After his return to the States, the Dillons gave birth to their daughter, Kelly. In, 19, in 1991, after 29 years of service, Bob retired as Chief Warrant Officer 4. And during a brief discussion, uh, when he arrived, he wishes he would have stayed an additional two years to get that Chief Warrant Officer 5 rank. I had to put that in there. Bob graduated from the University of Central Texas, now part of the Texas A&M system, with honors in 1980 while on active duty. Chief Warrant Officer Dillon's military awards and decorations include, but are not, uh, not limited to, two distinguished flying crosses, air medal with V device for valor, purple heart, bronze star medal, and master army aviator badge. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Warrant Officer 4, Robert Dillon. <laughs> 